Hey everybody, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks and today I'm going to show you how to build this responsive split hero section in Oxygen Builder. Now I'm also going to show you a little alternative version as well. So let's hop into Oxygen. So let's go ahead and add a section and I'm going to give this a class name so we can access it easy later on. And the first thing I want to do is add a background color. I'm going to use this darker color and then the other thing we want to do is actually go ahead into size and spacing and take off the top and bottom padding of this section. That's everything we need to do on this section for now. So the next thing we want to do is add a div to it and this is basically going to be our grid. So let's give this a class as well. And Let's use the grid layout. We're going to need two columns. Now I'm going to take off these standard values that Oxygen puts on them. So I don't want a minimum width. Uh, I don't want a gap either. And let's set it to stretch as well. Make sure that it is actually selected. And then put the width of this div to 100%. The other thing I also want to do is actually give this a height so that we have a nice place to work with. So I'm going to go into size and spacing and set the height to a view height of 80. So it takes up almost the entire screen, but not completely. Now let's add in our two columns. So we're going to need two divs and I'm going to start off with our right div. The one that has an image, so I'm going to add an image to this side and I'm also going to give that image a class. And then first thing I'm going to do is actually go into my media library um, and use a placeholder image. So we see what we're working with. So first thing I want to go ahead and actually put this width to a view width of 50. And let's set our height to 100%. Now there are a few problems right here. So first off, we still have this uh, blue part on the side. So let's go into advanced size and spacing. And we will actually need to go ahead and set that max width to a view width of 50 as well so that it completely spans to the side and that's because oxygen actually set a max width of 100 um, percent per default on images that fixed one problem now our image is quite blurry so let's go back to our primary tab and use the large um, size of the image and as you can see it, the image looks kind of weird it looks kind of stretched so we're going to need a little bit of custom css code um, so we're going to put in object fit cover and this kind of makes your image behave more like a background image now another thing you can do is go ahead and use object position and you can reposition um, the part of your image that is visible. So standardly it's on 50 50. Um, so if I do 10%, you can see it shifts um, to the side and then I could do 50. Now in this case, it's not gonna really matter a lot what I put in here. Um, but yeah, you can just tweak these values a little bit to get like the best part of your image uh, in view. So let's see what we have now. This is looking pretty good already. And next up will be our left side. So next we're going to work on our content. So let's go ahead and add a heading. We will also need a text and a button. And then I'm going to paste in a little bit of some placeholder text. So let's just do that a couple times so we have something to work with and then also paste in that text in our header. And let's also change the text on our button. There we go. Now what I want to do is actually want to position this um, text 
into the middle so i'm gonna take the wrapper so the div that's around my content and i'm gonna vertical middle align the content inside and then the other thing i want to do is actually change the color so um Let's add a class to this as well. And we're actually going to take over what we just did and copy it from the ID to the class. So um, let's go split hero. Uh, let's call this content. And if you ever make the mistake of doing something on an ID level, you can easily just go ahead and copy these styles over to your class. And then don't forget to actually clear these on an ID level. Um, so they don't overwrite our class. So now this is in our class and we can also go ahead and go to typography and put the text color to a white color. And that is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and give this some spacing and let's style this little button as well. So let's start with our heading. Uh, let's take this and let's also put a class on it. I'm going to go hero title for this one and what I want to do is actually um, put some margin on the bottom so I'm going to use rims and um, this gives us a nice bit of breathing room and then I'm going to do the same thing with our text so let's go hero um, let's go text and Let's also put a margin on this one. Now you might want to go in and tweak it a little bit if it's too big, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. Now what I don't like is the fact that this text field goes all the way up to um, my image. So let's go ahead and actually set a max width to this. And I'm going to go with a max width let's see of 25 rems and just to make sure that if you have a longer title this doesn't happen here either I'm actually also gonna put a max width on this block as well so let's go ahead and set it to 25 as well so that looks pretty good already and let's style this button um, let's go ahead and use my primary color. Let's also give like a slightly lighter version for a hover color. That looks good. And maybe let's change this to a little bit of a smaller gap. I feel like it is just slightly too big. So let's go ahead and this looks pretty nice so now let's save this and let's actually check if everything is fine on the front end now as you can see we do have a little problem here where we still have that section padding um, going on so let's go back into oxygen now as you can see in oxygen everything looks fine and the thing is um, the reason why this um, seemed to happen is because of um, classes and IDs. So we put the um, zero padding and margin on the custom class we made. However, due to the way that Oxygen builds its sections, to actually make this effective, we actually can take this off right here and actually put it on an ID level. Now another option would be is to use that, um, use that custom class and then actually target the section wrapper because if we go into our inspect tools on the front end you will see that a section usually has a it has a um, you have this section and then you have a section in a rep and this section in a rep is the one you would want to target so you would go split hero and then target the section in a rep um, to actually make this effective so it's up to you the safest way if you're going to reuse it would be to go with the class level for this purpose i'm just going to put it on our id and continue with the tutorial so now everything seems to be okay and let's go ahead and 
make this mobile um, make this responsive because right now if we're gonna go to a smaller screen size it's gonna get very cramped and eventually it's almost unreadable so I'm gonna choose the less than 992 pixels as our breakpoint so let's go ahead and take our div our grid and what we're gonna do is at this breakpoint we're actually going to split this layout to a one column layout. Um, now we do have to again go ahead and change some things. So let's take off the minimum width. Let's take off the cap. And next thing I want to do is actually want to center everything. And I actually want to stretch my image. I also want to center my text. And I want to add some padding um, on the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and start with our image. We're going to set our width of our image to 100%. And as you can see, it's still not reaching to the sides. And that's because on our bigger breakpoint, we actually um, set our max width to 50 view width. So we have to go ahead and also change it on this breakpoint. Now, as you can see, like this is pushing the image outside of our wrapper. And that's because we also put a um, fixed height on our um, section. So let's go ahead and jump into our section. Let's go to our split hero. We actually did not put it on the section. We put it on our diff. And let's go ahead and go into size and spacing and then set that height to 100% again. So now we have our background that is fixed. Our image is reaching to the sides. And next up will be um, our text. So I'm actually gonna center my text. And now we need to add some spacing. So I'm gonna go to size and spacing and then margin. And I'm gonna put in some margins on the top and the bottom uh, of this block so I'm actually not gonna put it on the top I'm gonna put some margin on the bottom so let's go with like let's give it just a little bit more breathing room all right and then the next thing I want to do is actually give this entire section so we have to go back to our section and actually reset um, the padding we took off so Let's go ahead and put in our standard padding again. So now we have this padding on top, this padding at the bottom. And this actually does look pretty good. You can go ahead and tweak a bunch of uh, things if you want the spacings to be smaller or bigger. But basically you have your split hero that is responsive. And now I'm going to show you the other option where we have this little shape that creates this illusion of having like a little downward angle to the picture. For our next section, we are actually going to use a CSS property called clip pad to make this little kind of like mask on top of our image. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go inside and I'm going to duplicate this section we already created. And since we already have a class on here, what I can do is actually I can go to manage style sheets and I already created a new style sheet and what I want to do is we want to add this um, clip mask for all of the big screens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a media query and then I'm gonna go to this really nice tool called Clippy and you can choose any um, type of figure I'm gonna go with the trapezoid and then I'm gonna actually copy this padded generate. So if I drag this, you will see that, you know, my, um, it changes down here. So I'm gonna use this, this looks good. Let's copy this over and then let's go back to oxygen and actually place this um, inside. But of course we have to apply it to an element. So since we already gave this a class name, dot split hero, image and 
open the curly brackets and then close the curly brackets and as you can see now my both my sections of course got this um, clip hat because both of them have the same class so if you only want to apply it to one of them you can actually create a new class for example called split hero image mask and then actually I'm gonna copy this over let's go ahead and save it go back to our structure go to this image and add that class as well and as you can see now it's only applied to this hero so depending on how you use it you might want to create a new class to have this effect um, work and now if we go to our smaller size screens as you can see it just goes back to our original design because we don't want to have this um, weird shape on the side uh, on the smaller screens so basically that's all you need to do to create a nice little variation on this header so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.